In addition to existing support for data from Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services and SAP HANA, BW, BWERP, Business Planning and Consolidation, Profitability and Cost Management, and Financial Consolidation, the 4.1 release introduces support for Oracle S-Base, Oracle OLAP 11G, and Teradata OLAP using the XMLA driver. Note that support for Microsoft SSAS 2005 has been dropped. The Prompts dialog has been reconfigured to handle multiple prompts better. By default, only mandatory prompts are displayed, while optional prompts are summarized and can still be accessed with a single click. In addition, a new option is available to enable you to save the values for your prompts with the workspace. You can save values for SAP BW prompts as private or public variants. Pre-existing variants that have been saved in SAP BW are also available. The first 10 variants of each type are displayed in the menu, or you can click More to view and manage all variants. If you have multiple queries that share a prompt, you can merge the prompt so that you can select a value only once for all queries. Conditional formatting that has already been defined within an SAP BEX query is now displayed in the Analysis Workspace based on the query. You can enable or disable the formatting, view the definition, and choose specific options, such as displaying the highest alert level in row or column headers. You can use Report to Report Interface functionality to pass context from your workspace to SAP BW destinations. Note that an Analysis Workspace can only be a sender. However, you can configure a workspace to receive context using the RRI URL sender. Open Document support has been enhanced to accept parameters as values for SAP BW query prompts. Analysis Edition for OLAP now supports languages such as Arabic with a mirrored user interface, bidirectional text, and right to left rendering. For Microsoft SSAS and Oracle S based data sources, you can create new groups of members from different hierarchies for the same dimension. When choosing members, you can use individual selection, search, or conditional filtering. You can also specify in the definition that you want members that exist in one set only, called set complement, or that exist only in both sets, set intersection. The ability to filter by measure has been extended to Microsoft SSAS, Oracle OLAP, Oracle SBase, and Teradata data sources. Note that you can apply AND and OR logic to define the interaction between multiple rules. You can expand and collapse hierarchies to specific levels as a quick way to navigate complex data. You can also choose to keep members from the right-click menu rather than using the member selector. A waterfall chart type is now available, which can support both non-hierarchical and hierarchical axes. You can create a jump link that passes context from an analysis workspace to web intelligence documents. The task and layout panels can be resized to better display their contents. You can export selected sheets and components from an analysis workspace to Design Studio as a new application. Once the export is complete, you can further refine and publish the application in a format that can be displayed on desktops or mobile devices. A wide range of elements from the workspace are supported, including the names of charts, annotations, custom calculations, sorts, palettes, selected hierarchies, and background filters. Note that additional support has been introduced for SAP HANA prompts, variables, and hierarchies in analytic and calculation views, balanced, unbalanced, or ragged, and SSO is now available for SAP HANA through SAML. You have successfully reviewed the new features in SAP Business Objects Analysis Edition for OLAP 4.1. This is the end of the tutorial.